Jennifer with Reflection Decor. A little bit of how I came about that name, Reflection. I think of when you do decorating, it's giving a reflection of who you are. So most of what you will see me putting together is going to be a, a desire or a passion from what I tend to love and it, it's, it's going to grab you. So if I were to come to you and you wanted me to do a design for you, I'm going to ask you your questions. I'm going to ask questions about what you like, what colors you like, where do you see yourself and get a feel of who you are. And then I'm going to put together your information with what you want me to do and giving a reflection of who you are. So that's how I came about the name Reflection Decor. And I'm going to show you how I put together a bathroom as far as dressing it but before that i actually want to show you my remodel of my bathroom you're going to see the remodel finish but in the corner or somewhere there you're going to see the before of how the bathroom looked then you're also going to see the process of having it remodeled so let's get into it so here is my workstation um of course I have everything laid out, making it a little bit easier to know what I'm going to work with. Of course, to do decor, it starts here in your mind first of thinking what you're going to put together, what colors are you going to use today. Because of course, depending on the season, depending on the time or your mood, you may change up your color scheme. So I'm pretty much going to be working with silver, a little bit of silver, gray and white. and pictures are pretty much neutral color and let's get started okay guys so here we're going to go and we're going to put together the towel I I tend to get creative and fancy at times with how I fold my towel so here I have a gray towel like I told you we're going to work with pretty much gray white and a little touch of silver and you'll see a little bit different colors um, as you go because they're they're greenery in in my put together as well all right so here I'm going to put the gray on and because I'm working with gray and white I'm going to mix the towels up you want to definitely get them even together let's put the white on get it even I tend to like things pretty much perfect it requires a lot of patience to be honest with you because sometimes I'll do a design and don't even like it and I'm like mmm I'm not feeling I'm not feeling this one and I'll go back to the drawing board and come up with something else all right so here I have gray and white and I'm going to put a little twist to it okay so here I'm going to make a change comment below and let me know what do you think I have this towel the clean side together but when I gather it, then I'm seeing the fold in the back. So I'm going to flip it because I want a very clean finish when I gather it. So to do that, keep the fold and flip. And sometimes you don't know this right away when you do it. It's after you're putting it together, like you realize, okay, what's happening here so here I flipped it and here is the clean finish on the back versus seeing and then what I can do with here is you can just tuck it a little bit right and oh when you're doing when you're doing decor you definitely want to have either I have a bunch of ribbons that I'll gather throughout our pins so I'm going to actually have this pin in the back and work from there. So I did not bring my pin, but let me go and grab my pin. So now that I have my pin, I'm going to gather it and I make it into a triangle. I, you could make it into a rectangle as well, but I'm going to work with the triangle design and see how I like it when I'm done. All right, so I'm tucking it in the back and um, make sure you don't stick yourself. I'm going to leave this one just like that and I'm going to work with the white one. And I'm going to ask for your feedback and you tell me what you like best 
in your comment below. So I'm doing the same thing, but I'm gonna do a slight little twist to the gray one. As you see, I am going to ruffle it a little bit. Sometimes you just gotta tuck and pull. And don't be afraid to move it around. Let's tuck this part in so you don't see that raw edge. Now tell me in your comment which one you would prefer, the plain and straight or the one with the ruffle, is what I call it, ruffle. Let me know in your comments. All right, so now I have it here all done. I want a little bit more to it, so here's what I'm going to do. I love me some green so here I have regular leaves, and I'm going to stick it inside, right? This one's gonna have two. And then, you know, oftentimes you'll go out and you'll get these little travel size um, lotion or shower gel or shampoo. I always time take them home with me, so I'm gonna stick it in here. And also, I'm gonna stick a little soap in there as well. You can play with it a little bit and see which angle you like it at. You maybe don't even like it at all and you can always take it out. And for the other, I'm going to have one. And I think I like the ruffle. So I may change this one to the ruffle. You're gonna keep playing with it until it grabs you. That's the finished product of the towel design. Then we're gonna move on to just dressing the different areas in the bathroom. I'm gonna put some flowers here and some other little starches, not much. Again, I don't think the bathroom requires a lot of fixing. So I'm just gonna put some flowers there and also on the sink area and we're done. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you. I have these pictures that, believe it or not, I took with my phone and I had them to develop on an app that I have on my phone. If you wanna know what app it is, just send me a comment below and I'll be happy to share the app with you. But I'm gonna stick one and once I have them all up, you'll see the finish work. All right guys, so here I have all the pictures up. Of course, feel free to comment on anything that you would see on my page. Um, I appreciate your comments. I welcome your comments. And like again, if you wanna know the app that I use to get these pictures, feel free to let me know in your comment below. So now we're gonna move on to just dressing the top of the commute, some call it. Love this wording. It's be bold, be true, be kind. Most of all, be you. Love it. I think I'm gonna make that my, my little thing there. And that's a little freshener. Stick it in there. And here we have, let me proof it a little bit more. Sometimes you do that. And there. And that's all it needs. Don't really need much. Just two little things and ties it all in together. I'm gonna to show you also, I'm not sure if you know, but I'm gonna show you a trick how I do also my toilet paper. Fold it under, then flip it. And have a more finished classic look. And then, of course, we're gonna place our toilet, our trash can in. And I love this plant so much. This one I got on Amazon. If you wanna know exactly what link, let me know. The bin I also got there. And all I just did was just to stuff it up with some paper towel to hold it together. And there we go. And that's our little area. And here we go. Always remember guys, 
I clean this bathroom so much the night before. I keep this rag just to find any more little fingerprints. You just want to get it off. You want to clean, finish at all times when you're doing your work. I love a clean place. I don't know about anybody else, but for me, oh, I, I love it. It's so relaxing for me. All right, I want to clean the mirror because I'm going to use this just to give me a reflection of the plant I'm going to put in later. And here's a tray. We're going to fill this tray up. Can't forget my greenery. I do need more, so. And who love to see those stickers when you go to the store, huh? I, I do. I love a good sale. Stick that on top. And that's it. That's all it needs. Get that. And then now, I love to do things on an angle. Never like to do it straight. I love to do it on an angle. I also got these flower on Amazon as well. I use my fingers to go shopping, guys. So I'm just gonna put in about four of them and work with that and see how it looks. Get them all tangled. Straighten out the leaves, bring them to life. And sometimes you just let them fall within me because it looks more real that way than you putting them. I'm just going to add a little bit of greenery. Tell me in your comments, should I add this greenery or should I take it out? What do you think? Let me know. And then I have this glitter. I thought if I make it look, should I do it here? Or should I do it, should I do it here? And just have it to hang. I'm gonna leave it here and do again. Tell me in your comment what you think I should, what's best. And then last, or not last, last but not least, we're going to just put these towels, two white, but with a little bit of silver one has. And put that there. And there you have it. I, I love it. I, it's very simple, very clean very elegant I just I love it all right guys so I'm showing you my closet because I want you to see that not only in decorating I also try to be organized I have my towels that I work with at the very bottom are my personal towels that I use, which I don't use for decorating, but all the others, you cannot use them because they are for just decorating. But organization is also very key because you know how to find your things, you know where everything is. So I love organizing and I just wanted to show you a quick video or a clip to how you can have your closet organized. 
but thanks again guys for watching don't forget to comment don't forget to give me a thumbs up like and share and I see you on the next video have a blessed one